in this video I will show you how to set up a tally when a certain input is selected on one of the ME's of the HS6000 well first of all the main panel of the HS6000 is quite large so I cannot show the whole uh, main panel with my camera otherwise the buttons become a little bit small so let's say we will select like if we select input 10 SDI 10 that tally 1 must become active and we are talking about the close contacts by the way so let's first see what is a close contact we will use to check the tally just of course you can use a, a tally light and connect that one but to show in this video I just will use an ohm meter an analog one and when I close the pins as you can see the needle deflects so that will be the indication of my tally that replaces my tally okay first as I promised let's see what how does a close contact tally work well this is a transistor that is at the GPI, so the general purpose interface outputs. There are several of them and we can make this transistor active, close when a certain input or another uh, effect is happening. That is not so important, but anyway, this transistor you can imagine it's the same as a simple switch but this side must always be the negative side that's why it is connected to the ground but also the transistor does not like to work a bit opposite voltage so that's the only thing to remember please keep that side to the ground side and then it works as a switch so when the switch closes this comes to ground so it means if we connect an LED with a pull-up resistor to a certain voltage which is maximum 24 volts so this is the limit current limiting resistor this LED will go on when this contact is closed so this is good for closed contact some tally systems so this is the then what, what we call the low level tally but some systems work with high level tally it means when the contact is open the tally must go on this can also be performed then you need to make this kind of circuit externally the same transistor is connected to this circuit this is just a pull-up resistor so when the contact is open this will be high and then the tally will be lit when the contact is closed this will be low and then the tally will not be lit there are two other forms of tally they called low edge and high edge it's the same it starts the same as so low edge is just shortly closing this switch when the output becomes active it does need to be constantly low it just needs a pulse so the contact is then closed very shortly it gives a pulse and then the tally goes on and remember until another pulse comes and also this one some systems want a low edge so going to the ground close contact and the other wants a high edge and that it means the switch must go open very shortly to trigger the tally so everything can be accomplished it depends on the setting okay oh sorry where can we find these tallies that's the question well on the main unit and on the panel there are several DP25 connectors so the pinning is explained in the operating instructions but watch out the pinning for the uh, DP25s on the main unit is not the same pinning as that one on the panel. Why? Because on the main unit there are several connectors and we split GPI ins and GPI outs. On the main on the main panel we don't have so much space so there is only one connector there and the input and outputs are on the same connector. So we definitely want a GPI out and uh, let's say number one and we see that is pen 10 then we need also the ground and that is pen pin 9 we need to remember those so okay we will configure so that if we push SDI button number 10 that this pin 
becomes connected to the ground to pin 9 so close contact that is the target of this video to do so so practically this is the panel the connector is there I already inserted a DB25 uh, mail connector we need a mail just for our testing so we can probe it with the ohm meter later on but all settings are done in the setup menu so let's go to the setup menu of the HS6000 that you can see on the small touch panel or you can see it by connected a DVI monitor okay guys I reset the unit before I started so it's fully initialized so I need to start from zero we need to go first the mm, unit is in alarm is just because not all power supplies are connected doesn't matter for this demo we go to system then we need to go to peripheral <laughs> sorry I cannot say that word very well I prefer let's say external equipment and the tallies are external equipment okay oops there we go then we select tally we can create several what is called tally groups for the different colors and for the different applications but today we are interested in one tally which yes is the on air tally the red tally and the target is not the DSK program one is just ME program one yes okay do we want anything else to light this target no not today a color red that is for the internal multi-view external it depends on the LED that is installed in the camera so this should be fine now we have to set that this when this tally is triggered that it goes to the certain input and of course also the source must be detected anyway all the rest is done in GPI odd this is the test fire button we can use later on to see if it's really working now we don't use the connector on the main frame we use the connector on the main panel so please do if you do so forget not to select it this one okay we can take all it doesn't matter in our case then the kind of tally so we want a close contact low edge so is the low going pulse that we don't want this is the high going pulse we want the close contact and here it's called low level and this is an open contact by the way so today we select low level yes then the group select it's not me1 not no 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 we want you remember tally group one we configured for that yes then let's be a little bit lazy we know it's one of the inputs so we select that we will only see the inputs fine now we did say SDI 10 tally group 1 SDI 10 we want to assign to GPI out one of the main panel that should be there if we do so whoops low level tally group 1 SDI in 10 that should have done the job let's confirm it so we will not put it on SDI 10 at the moment we put it online now we take the ohm meter we so GPI odd 1 is pen number 10 and number 9 is the ground okay I push them I hold them I, that is my mistake okay we keep them in place now I select SDI 10 and yes 9 10 you see the needle go so the contact is closing if I select a high level then the opposite will happen and if I select edge then you will see the needle deflect very shortly I can also try the test fire so there is a test fire I must select a good one and you see every time I push it just a short test fire so that's 
about it for the classic tally. Of course, you can configure much more tallies on any gears, etc. But that's not today's mission. This is just a start, and the rest, once you understand this, I think the rest will go by itself. Thank you for your time. Bye bye.